Welcome viewers. In this video we are going to discuss about the reliability load combinations for 220 kV double circuit transmission line tower loadings structural loadings as per IS802. This is a stage 5 of 7. Before going to watch this video, we request you to watch our earlier before video, our previous video which is having a four stages. In the first stage we used to discuss about the electro mechanical input required for the transmission line tower structures design second one is a reliability load and wind load calculations in the third stage we had discussed about the classification of various loads in terms of reliability security and safety and the fourth stage we had discussed about the temperature and sag tension calculation so this is fifth stage in this we are going to discuss about the reliability load combinations let's we go in detail So this is a summary for reliability load cases as per class 13.1 IS 802 part 1 section 1 there are 3d three dimensional forces we need to calculate first one is the longitudinal loads under this longitudinal loads there are several cases are given if in this tower is a suspension tower then we should not consider any mechanical tension and in case of angle or tension tower the mechanical tension we should consider or ignore it's depend upon us but in general in this case of unequal span we can ignore this mechanical tension as this is consider this is going to consider already in security or safety loads under a broken wire condition and finally for dead end towers the longitudinal forces we need to consider like 100 percentage design wind at everyday temperature or 36 percentage design with wind at minimum temperature So these are the three parameters under we need to consider the longitudinal loads for reliability load cases. And if you are talking about this transverse load, so that is load in y direction, uh, uh, horizontal load in y direction, we need to consider wind load on towers, conductor, ground wire, or earth wire, and the insulator strings. Along with that, mechanical tension, 100 percent design wind at the everyday temperature or 36 percent design wind at the minimum temperature. And finally, the vertical loads, the FOV set, we need to consider self weight of the tower as modeled in software. Because in this self weight of tower, we need to give in model itself by considering that the self weight options. addition to that we need to give the weight of conductor earth wire insulator and strings and accessories which are we used to calculate manually and these are the three direction x y z whereas x that is f of x force is a parallel to the conductor span y is a perpendicular to conductor span and z is a vertical downward let we see the calculation so this is a excel calculation which you might have seen in our first stage in this we had discussed about the electromechanical input during our first stage we had consider the type of tower which we are going to design is suspension tower so as we discussed just before for suspension tower and tension tower or angle tower there won't be any longitudinal forces which we are we no need to consider any longitudinal force in case of reliability combinations but for dead end tower we need to consider as per the mechanical conductor which we had calculated for 100% wind with everyday temperature and 36% wind minus our minimum temperature so these are the two parameters which we need to consider maximum in case of dead load conditions so this sheet reliability combination with no deviation in this we used to calculate the horizontal longitudinal transverse and vertical loads so we know that the type of tower is function is suspension tower so longitudinal force is zero suppose i am considering here dead end towers then you can see here this value are calculated 2625 is nothing but it is a sag tensions under wind ice and minimum temperature which is a worst combination 
for conductor and similarly for earth wire 2957 kg so those are calculated here in case of dead end type towers but our case it is suspension tower so there won't be any longitudinal forces so this is as per is 802 part 1 section 1 class 13.1 and next one is transverse loads which is perpendicular to conductor span so here as we know that conductor deviation there is no conductor deviation which is zero so that cos vertical degree into sin horizontal degree is also zero similar like for earth wire also there is no loads next one is wind on conductor wind on earth wire wind on tension suspension insulator and wind on structure so this is nothing but we already calculated in climate load which is in stage 2 so simply applying this formula so as we had calculated here conductor load wind on conductor is 57.71 that is divided by 9.81 it will give in kg per meter so that meter we are going to multiply with the wind span which is stated in electromechanical input so here you can see this span we need to consider 350 meter so that is what here consider 57.51 into 350 meter divided by 9.1 which is a newton to kg conversion so finally we are getting wind on conductor as 2052 kg so this we are going to apply in transverse side of conductor span so similar like wind on earth wire also we need to consider as wind which we had calculated in our second stage wind on earth wire is 22.81 newton per meter so that into 350 we need to apply next one is wind on a tension insulator so as this is a suspension tower this tension insulator wind is not applicable because that suspension insulator it won't have any tension insulators so here this 2.45 kn divided by 1000 should be consider and again this 2.45 into 1000 and 255 which is in mm divided by 1000 so by applying this uh, equations we are getting 191 kg for suspension insulator and for structure we already calculated in stage 2 of this video 5.11 kN per meter square is a wind on structure so that divided by 9.81 into Uh, 1000 for kn it is a conversion only so now we are getting kg per meter square so this is all the transverse loads and finally the vertical loads so in that we need to consider the vertical load due to self height of conductor so here this conductor length is one with kg per meter that weight is 1.63 we can see here in the mechanical input electromechanical input so it is a single conductor so one number and the weight per meter is 1.63 kg per meter so 1.1 into that is a number um, quantity of conductor 1 into 1.63 into 300 is the weighted span so here you can see it is a weighted span so weighted span we need to consider so in case of especially for this wind span and weighted span we need to consider for suspension tower we can directly consider this value but in case of tension tower we need to detect that tension insulator also suppose if i am selecting here small or medium angle tower so we need to detect this tension insulator because this tension insulator used to span a little on both the side whereas that 
length of the total conductor should be directed with this uh, length of the insulator so that we will be getting this wind span as a 344 instead of a 350 by directing both the side uh, two dies two side uh, tension insulator similar like uh, weighted span in normal and broken wire condition also we need to deduct this insulator length so likewise this conductor span in wind and weighted conditions it is going to get uh, uh, reduce in case of a tension type tower is designed so similar like in case it is a detent tower then this uh, one time of uh, insulator should be deducted so here it may be one we need to deduct so in our case the suspension tower there is no need of deducting this insulator suppose we are having the tension insulator then you can see here in this calculation for wind on conductor and wind sir wind on conductor only 344 that is the deducted span of conductor is considered but in case of earth wire there won't be any insulator so we can consider directly this uh, wind span 350 similar like in vertical load calculation that is a weighted span instead of uh, 300 meter it is considered 294 meter by and deducting the two side of uh, tension insulator span for earth wire we can directly consider that 300 meter so this we need to consider in case of angle tower so now our case is a suspension tower so that we can consider the direct wind span and weighted span no need of any deduction so this is a condition where we are considered there is no conductor deviation conductor or earth wire deviation as we know that suspension tower will have up to 5 degree deviation of its conductor we can also calculate the load for deviation type say for example up to 5 degree we can consider there won't be any vertical deviation so if it is a zero there won't be any transverse loads but we are considering the maximum deviation as 5 so that you can see this conductor deviation is 587 for conductors and for earth wire it is 258 kg how to calculate this value is very simple it is just we are applying this cos vertical angle and sin vertical sin uh, horizontal angle with this uh, conductor deviation which we had calculated already so this conductor tension we are knowing that 6725 we calculated from here and similar like for earth wire it is 2957 which are already calculated with our earlier stage of videos so by applying this simple trigonometry formula we can able to calculate this cos vertical into sin horizontal angle we will be getting this for value 525 and 258 so there will not be any difference in weight of wind on conductor earth wire tension insulator or suspension insulator or on wind on structure there won't be any changes only changes with this deviation is uh, transverse loads in case of suspension tower and in case of dead end tower even this longitudinal force also will vary according to that conductor deviation so for dead end towers you can see here we are having longitudinal forces 6700 it is a cos vertical angle into cos horizontal angle is the longitudinal force calculation in case of deviation so if it is a 10 degree so the force will uh, distribute according to the trigonometry so
so this is what all about uh, the reliability load combinations so next video we will be discussing about the security and uh, safety load combinations methods thank you for watching look at description for more related video subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you